Tagale is essentially a language that is about emotions. It is, for me, the best language to express emotions in the rawest sense. And it's a language that has no barriers, that anyone can understand from any country and from any background. Tamara does have those qualities of a principal dancer. She's very strong. She can turn like a top. She can jump like a man. She's got the willpower. She's got the character, the strength of character. That means that she goes beyond technique. I think the world of ballet is a very fair world because you achieve things based on your merits. It is much less political than many other worlds. And if you put hard work and intelligence into it, you can achieve a stardom. There's a lot of sacrifices that you have to make to look after yourself that much. You know, she is going to be in a rehearsal at seven in the morning and she's not going to think twice about that. She'll be there as many times as it takes. It's amazing to see her work because she works so hard and she pushes herself to the limit every single day. Because it is a profession that is based on your own body, as your body changes, you have to continue to study to understand how to work with this constant changing tool. It's almost like if a violinist will have to work with a violin that will change constantly. That is extremely tough. You are an athlete, you know, your body has to be finely tuned, you can be injured really quickly. So if you do get an injury from ballet, it can be quite intense. I've had quite a lot of pain through my career, mainly because I wasn't physically that gifted, so I had to push my body beyond its own limitations. In one occasion, I danced with a burst appendix. I wish I hadn't done it. I paid a very high price for it. But the one good thing you can take away from injury is that there are an opportunity to reassess yourself. When she rehearses, she'll do a variation not just once through, she'll do it again and again until she's exhausted. But when she goes on stage and just does it once, it's easy. Most of the time, I feel slightly disappointed after a performance. And then sometimes, really rarely, you just do something strange, something that is not about doing the steps better or is not about even you feeling is, is some kind of release that suddenly you connect completely with the audience and you know they are with you on the stage every step of the way. I have always questioned things. It's my nature to question everything, really. But I am more convinced than ever that arts and culture are essential to human beings, that they are what defines us. I feel that going to the ballet is an opportunity to see yourself in a different mirror and give a clarity about your own feelings and about your own future.